Hi Taurus, my loves. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Taurus Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Taurus. The message could be for you. Wow. <laughs> Things are a little bit crazy, yes? Alright, so uh welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Message could be for you. Take it however it resonates. All my information in the description box so you can check all that out. What was the other thing? And <laughs> you can follow me over on Instagram. That is also located down below. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel. Let's dive in. Love it. Okay. Curiouser and curiouser. So we have Apophyllite. We have Jupiter. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Pisces, but we've got curiosity. <laughs> okay, yeah, I heard curiosity killed the cat. Okay, um, that's so funny. All right, sorry, that was bothering me. Okay. You could be curious about someone or vice versa, because we've got Golden Eagle. There could be an energy that seems like it's soaring high. That could be you potentially moving in that direction, but we've got enlightenment and success. Wow. Like, there's a person here that completely, like, hits on boom. You know, like like I've talked about in other readings, the eagle is the bird that, that like, the heights that they can reach in the atmosphere, they literally, like, obviously they don't touch the sun, <laughs> but they fly closest to the sun. Okay, and so that's why, like, what they receive, I mean, if you were think to, to think about this, this energy can move beyond the clouds of confusion, l very literally. So that could be something here is like, there's an enlightened energy. We have the gray heron with introspection and patience. The, I love this because it's almost like the clouds part and you see the way, there's like a, this little enlightenment that's going to lead to success. And there's that gray heron. So we have introspection and patience. That was previously. Okay. I love gray herons. Okay. I think they're, I saw one recently and I just think they're very beautiful regal birds <laughs> they're very fascinating to me the fact that they're like so tall i don't know so we have the jaguar we have charisma and shamanic gifts which could be an energy involved in this situation in some particular way some of you guys could be using shamanic practices to reach enlightenment possibly but we have a lot of introspection and patience so it feels like to me that is coming all right especially for those of you if you're curious about a person yeah like there's this you have to be patient for a little bit in your process and in this energy you could be deep in introspection and there could be another energy involved in your situation that you're curious about Shamanic gifts, especially. Okay. Wow, the Lovers is finally making an appearance. So we have the Lovers card. Could be a Gemini. Okay. So, Taurus, for you, I'm getting that there's a particular person that... You could either be curious about them or they're really freaking confused by you. <laughs> they might not know what you're doing. We have the Three of Swords. Oh, okay. Yeah, just remember everything you put out there, you get back times 10. We have the Three of Swords, the Seven of Swords. So there was something painful that happened here. And then we've got this Knight of Wands. Oh, is this a player? Is that what this is? Oh, we've got uh, two knights. So these are the emphasis. We have the eight of wands, which is like communication and messages. And then we've got this knight of cups person. I honestly don't know. Okay. If these aren't you, Taurus. Yeah, there's the two of swords. Let me 
pull out the rest of the cards so I can get full, like the full picture here. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. That's you. Yes. She could be super ultra independent, but that also could be more of a trauma response. <laughs> I'm just gonna be straight up. There's kind of your suit. All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel as though, and then the outcome here is the Ten of Wands and the King of Swords. You could have an, a King of Swords energy. All right, let me put it this way. Lover's card is a choice. So in your mind, you could be trying to persevere in your process at this time. And something about your process is requiring patience. Perfect Knight of Pentacles representation. You also might be dealing with these lovers. And the, the lovers, <laughs> yes, it could be that you're... There's something here that could be a bit inauthentic. I'm just going to throw that out there. And when you've got a Gemini with the lovers coming in, it's a reflection energy, right? Because it's the twins. So you can be dealing with an energy that in one capacity, like it's a mirroring card. So you could be dealing with people in relationships and you're seriously observing. These feel a little bit more like possibly painful, but you've got maybe someone here that's being sneaky or deceptive with the seven of swords. Okay. That's why I was saying like to maybe take a step back here because it feels like you're interacting. I would say that this knight of wands energy, there's something deceptive here. And I'm not the biggest fan of this, okay? I'm just gonna say it straight up. Like, for example... Oh, is that what we're dealing with again? Okay, so this is what it is. It feels like to me that you are... You could have been back and forth and choosing on some energies. You're about to figure out what needs to be released pretty freaking fast, because it's showing me that you're possibly single or highly independent or self-sufficient, misindependent, you know? So there's this energy here of the Knight of Wands. Anytime this combination comes out, there's a person here that might be trying to, like, they're just acting from a place of pain. If I were to put it lightly like that and not dive into the details, but this person might also be trying to use a third party to ignite some kind of fuel. Boom, that's this Knight of Wands card. <laughs> so that could be coming up just because of this would be another expression of the post-shadow Mars retrograde Gemini, where it's like issues in communication, resentments, like, but you could have a player here and this person might be resenting you. You've just got to be patient through the process here. And I do want to say that there's something here. You might be very charismatic and that could be a part of your gift, but you almost have to keep up with your healing process. Very dedicated to it because you're, you're seeking enlightenment. I do feel like there's something here where you're going to release the burden of something with this King of Swords. So it could be an actual person or you're like, yeah, there could be a salesman or someone who's like more in a professional avenue with the King of Swords. It's showing you you're gonna give something over to them or they may, might take a burden off of you. Yeah, actually that feels really good. Because that might be the thing that it's going to help you um, with some movement, possibly communications. What else do I want to say? There's a little bit of denial here, and I am going to point it out as that. Because there can be this thing here where you're... Um, like... Alright. 
this is deceptive, okay? And I think you're aware of it, and there could be a little bit where you're, like, learning some kind of significant lesson, there's a reflection of yourself to be aware of, and you have to keep, like, healing through this situation. On the other hand, there could be a water sign type energy. I am going to put it out there, but this energy is, like, very emotionally expressive with the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Wands, and it could be through communications. So, yeah, we have this Two of Swords. Huh. Really interesting. I'm gonna say this just in general, Taurus. Wow, the Knights. Okay. You're still in some kind of transitional energy up to a higher archetype, which I do feel like, especially if you've been, if you've had love or romance offers coming in, it looks like they're knights. They're more, they're not as committal, I want to say. But this Knight of Cups can be emotionally expressive, but they might actually be more daydreamy. Um, but you would fit well with a water sign, to be completely honest. But I see you might be focusing here but I'm gonna recommend this as well you could have got really entangled with someone else's energy and the recommendation here is to be very like I know you're independent but to do something on your own because you might be getting way too caught up in someone else's energy and for those of you there could be stuff coming in that like boundaries whatever that looks like because this can be copying stealing and that's why i was saying whatever is put out there comes back like times 10 whatever number it always comes back so that's why i was saying you might need to kind of do your own thing okay oh they're watching huh <laughs> okay. If you have a King of Wands character that you are very attracted to, they are watching, okay, or you're watching them, but they're still hung up on either the past or something that happened between the two of you in the past. So they could still be closing out a past situation. Oh, is that why? Okay. Hmm. Well, that's actually good, because you might have an energy that's like a little bit more honorable, that you want to do things correctly, as opposed to a little bit more wounded humans, okay? Still trying to like do things. But I am going to say that, Taurus, like um, this could be a need to do your own thing. And just FYI, if whatever this, if this is self-deception, and I am going to put it out there, that you might be telling yourself, like, this is okay, or and intuitively it could be something different, sometimes a lesson will come in to show you that. So, for example, like, sometimes... I'll be cautious how I say it. I'm just going to keep things general, but you will see the lesson that you need to see in this whole situation, okay? Like, you'll know what it is. But, yeah, um, I'm going to dive into the extended, okay? If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see it over there. But, Taurus, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.